Welcome back and welcome to my November TBR. Now, my November TBR is basically um, all the books that I would like to read before uh, leaving the UK and not being able to take all the books that I have with me, um, aka library books and big hardbacks and other physical books that I don't particularly necessarily want to take back. So you'll have seen some of these before, however if you have been following me a while you will know that in November I do NaNoWriMo and so I don't read as much, um, so we'll see, we'll just we'll put a TBR together, I'll talk about some books I want to read and then we'll just see what happens, see what happens uh, because once I get back to the States I'm in Denver for like two days and then I'm in Vegas because we're going back for our anniversary um, and then suddenly it's December so we'll just see what happens. Um, the first few books are November releases and so they will obviously be on my Kindle um, because a couple of them are ebook only and a couple of them I have as net galley copies. So the first one is Some Kind of Wonderful by Giovanna Fletcher. Um, I'm gutted because I'm just missing out on her signing dates because um, I'm going back at the wrong time basically. Um, so I'm not going to be able to meet her and get my book signed although um, I think it's released while I'm still over here. Uh, and then the next one released right at the end of November is The Place We Met by Isabel broom which I do already have on my uh, Kindle so it is a strong contender for a plain read um, and then a couple of um short stories and novellas. The first one of those being A Christmas Wedding by Paige Toon which I have pre-ordered um, and is um uh, features some of her previous characters from previous books. If you haven't sub subscribed to Paige's newsletter um, then you won't know which particular one so I won't spoil it for you um, but it's very exciting um, and that will be hitting my Kindle as soon as it is released which works out as basically being 5pm in Denver so generally I get to read it all um, that evening which is very exciting because uh, the next one is part of the new Holly Hepburn series and with her previous uh, books I did this uh, with those and they hit my Kindle at five and I listened, I listened, I read them so I could have the review ready for publication day in the UK um, and this, this new uh, series is uh, all about Castle Court and this first one is snowy nights at Castle Court so it's going to be very Christmassy um, and so we'll look forward to reading that so look out for reviews of all those closer to publication date um, because I'm hopefully going to get round to reading things um, in time for publication date hopefully next month <laughs> fingers crossed. Last November I read zero books so things can only get better than that definitely definitely um, other books I want to get to, um, I've got a lot of physical books, uh, I've got <laughs> this big hardback here which is not coming to Denver with me so I need to read it before I leave uh, and that is All That She Can See by Carrie Hope Fletcher, let's give it a little shimmy there, <gasps> so shiny um, and also by Carrie Hope Fletcher is Winter Snow which is the um, follow up little tiny little short story um, to On The Other Side, it has that same tree cover as on the other side had and I want to read both of these before I leave the UK. Uh, and then we have a couple that I bought, Margot and Me by Juno Dawson which was in last month's TBR and also in my book haul so that won't be surprising to you. A book that I took away with me in half term and then didn't read because I want to get a really good crack at it and that is Freshers by Tom, Ellis, Ellen and Lucy Iveson. This is one I knew I wanted to buy as soon as I got to the UK and I bought it and now I haven't read it and so I really need to. Uh, I'm really looking forward to reading it, it's not that I don't want to, it's just finding the time isn't it, you know? Uh, and then uh, by Tamsin Murray we have um, the next in the Tanglewood series, this came out on the 1st of August, Yorkshire Day, and I haven't read it still and it's not exactly a taxing read um, but it's just finding time to fit it in because I would like to sit down and read it all in one go. I've been taking it into schools with me in case I have time to share it with them but there's never enough hours in the day, especially because I'm going in on a supply basis so the teacher always leaves you plenty to do or they already have a book on the go so taking it in is maybe not such a good idea. I'll just leave it and then it won't get crumpled in my backpack anymore. 
And then one that I have not hauled yet, but I'm uh, sort of excited because I found this, I didn't know it existed, and it's um, super readable YA, and I have to admit it was a bit of a cover buy, uh, and that is uh, Unboxed by Non Pratt, and <laughs> if I just do this, you can see how shiny it is, and it's one of these that's got that kind of double cover thing going on, so we've got gold in here. And then some more constellations there. And then constellations on the back. I mean, who wouldn't buy this because of the cover, really? I know nothing about it, but again, it's a quick read. So I'm hoping to be able to read this before I head back to Denver. Although this wouldn't take up that much room in my bag if I didn't manage to. Maybe perhaps another possibility for a plain read. Um, and then we have They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, which uh, I think was on my TBR from last month as well. I can't remember. I can't remember if I've hauled this one yet. I had a sort of book haul already and then I'm next weekend I'm going, well this weekend coming, I'm going down to London and I know I'll probably get a couple more books when I'm down there. So I thought I'd leave off until I'd been down there and then I could do a sort of general UK haul before I go back to uh, Denver. But... This is definitely on the TBR. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, and then some library books that I have left over, which I'm hoping to get to. It may or may not happen, but they're here. I'll tell you about them. Um, we Come Apart, which is by Sarah Crossan and Brian Conaghan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'd seen this in quite a few bookshops, so when my very local library had it as a feature on their shelf, I was like, yep, yeah, going to pop that pop that in my handbag. I mean, I borrowed it first, but this is written in um, verse form, so hopefully it might be a nice quick read as well. I'm not reading these books just because they're quick reads. I do want to read all of them. Um, and then we have my other couple of non Pratt books, uh, which, um, well, I have Remix, but I have that in Denver, so I think we're going to bump that off the TBR. It's not going to stay on there. Um, but Truth or Dare, which is one of these flippy books, uh, which I really would like to read before I go back because I don't have a copy of this one in Denver or uh, to own. I got this one from the library. And last couple... London Belongs to Us by Sarah Manning. I may take this to read on my flight down from Leeds to London just because it's set in London and that would be appropriate. And I'm also going to be seeing Zarina when I'm down there. So I know she recommended this one to me. Uh, so it'd be interesting to read this either before I see her or on the way to see her. And then we can talk about it because she's read it too. So, And then finally, I've got Girls Can't Hit by T.S. Easton. And I know that this is going to be really funny and I know it's going to be another one of those quick reads but it's just finding time to slot it in so hopefully I'm going to get to this one as well. And then I've got one left over from my... can't get my computer to scroll now. need to see my list, check I've mentioned everything. One left over on my Kindle from my October TBR because I completely missed this publication day. I was away for half term and I just don't know what happened but that is Nobody Has Sex on Christmas Day by Tracy Bloom um, which is the I think the third or the fourth in the kind of Nobody Has Sex on in uh, series which is absolutely hilarious by her and I've loved the other ones and I don't know how I managed to just completely space on her publication day. I feel really bad. Um, so it's firmly on the November TBR. This is a must read but it is on my Kindle so it is a little more portable and something I could possibly read on a plane. <laughs> just saying. Um, yes, of course, I do have my sort of nine hour flight, then hour and a half flight, because uh, I change in Minneapolis, um, to read. So I've got that time to read. Whether I will find any reading time once I get to Denver and I'm um, extremely jet lagged, who knows? It's the jet lag way around where I'm going to be waking up early, so maybe I'll fit in some reading then, who knows? Um, 
<sighs> let me know in comments below uh, which of these books that I've mentioned that you would like to see me do a full video on or which you think I should read first I would love always love guidance in my TBR um, and uh, if you are not already subscribed please click that subscribe button I would love to have you on board and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I will have another video for you on Tuesday I've got a couple of exciting projects that I've been working on coming up so uh, get excited about those uh, and I will see you with another video next week. Bye.